Welcome to Chris Cook for you too. Wow, spaghetti is a fantastic dish and you love pasta. Sometimes you just want to switch. So you get sick of the same old, same old. So what I've done is put together a pasta dish and I want to bring it to you today. I think you're going to enjoy it. To make this dish, you're going to need onion powder, garlic powder, oregano, down front is salt, little bit of sugar, some penny pasta. You can make your own uh, spaghetti sauce if you want to because that's actually what you use. But I'm not using uh, a homemade sauce. I'm using Prego because that's my favorite brand of spaghetti sauce when it's store bought. You don't need a little bit of cheese. You really don't need a lot, but if you're a cheese lover, you can go ahead and use a lot, and it's any kind of cheese that you choose. I just had a mixture in my refrigerator, put it all together, and that's what I'm going to put in this dish. Some Italian sausage, some kielbasa sausage. I'm using three types of bell pepper. I'm using the yellow, the red, and the green and you're going to need some onion so i'm gonna go away and get these ingredients chopped all chopped up i'm gonna meet you at the stove so we can cook up this sausage add this pasta make a quick fast and delicious pasta dish that i think you're truly going to enjoy be at right the stove there. and i'm getting ready to cook up my sausage that you saw at the table so i'm gonna go ahead and put the Italian sausage in here. And as soon as it heats up, I'll bring you right back. Okay, I have my Italian sausage in here. Now, the Italian sausage is not producing a large amount of oil. And I need to saute up my vegetables that I have sitting right over here. So what I'm going to do in order to produce some more oil over in this is I'm going to go ahead and add my kielbasa. Because the kielbasa sausage, which I've already cut up, that will give me enough oil in order to fry up my vegetables. Now, why do I want to fry my vegetables up in the remaining oil that's coming from the kielbasa and the little bit that's coming from the Italian sausage? I want to do that because that produces more flavor. So it does not make sense for me to add some additional oil when I can just use the oil that's going to come from this. Now, at that point, I will show it to you when I get through cooking up this. So, I'm going to go ahead and cook up my sausage. I'm going to cook up my uh, kielbasa. And uh, what I'm going to do is take this out, and then I'll saute up my vegetables and bring everything back together. But I'll show you that point. Be right back. Okay, now I'm frying up my sausage. I've removed as much of my uh, Italian sausage as I could. And it doesn't matter about those little bitty pieces of Italian sausage that you still see in there. That's really not important. When you fry your sausage or your ground beef on lower, it will produce more of the moisture, which provides you with more of the oils coming from the sausage or coming from whatever it is that you're cooking. And as you can see, you can see that, that see the little bit of oil that's down in there? The little bit of oil that you see, see it all down in there, that's enough for me to cook my, saute up my vegetables. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this these sausages, then I'm going to bring it back and I'm going to put in my vegetables, which when it absorbs the oil that is in the pan, that's going to produce more flavor coming from my sausage, my Italian sausage and my kielbasa. I want the flavor from this. I don't want the flavor from regular, uh, just regular oil because it'll provide more of a taste, more of the uh, taste of the pasta dish that I'm making. Now you can see that little oil in there. That's more than enough to saute up my vegetables. See it right there flowing through. So I'll bring it back as soon as I get them all out and get my vegetables over in. Be right back. Okay, now I'm back and I've taken out my sausage and I've taken out my uh, my Italian sausage and my kielbasa. You see the little bit of oil that I got? That's more than enough to saute up these vegetables. I'm going to put in my onion, my red pepper, my yellow pepper, and my green pepper. And what I'm going to allow this to do is to just saute up just a little bit because I want my vegetables to have some flavor 
and I don't want it to be flavor coming from regular oil. So to that, I'm going to go ahead and add my oregano, my garlic um, powder, my onion powder, and of course my salt. Okay. Now, I'm going to stir this up and allow this to cook. And once it sautés up pretty good, I'll bring it right back and we'll move to the next step. Be right back. Okay, now I've sautéed up my vegetables and that little bit of oil. Now, the little bit of oil that you see down in there, don't even worry about it because you don't have enough to worry about it. Okay, so you're just going to leave it in the dish. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my Prego sauce to this. Okay. And you know I don't believe in throwing out nothing, so I'm going to rinse my jar out with some water. And I'm using really four cups of water to make this dish. So I'm going to add that. And I need to add just a little bit more. So that's four cups of water in addition to the Prego sauce that I'm using. And this is a 45 ounce container. Now at this point, and it's going to cook down so that you don't have to worry about. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and add my pasta. Now, this is a 16 ounce box of penny pasta. This serves eight. So eight for us, if we get two servings a piece, which we would, that's going to be um, two servings a piece on, on the uh, eight, eight servings will equal out, but it'll only serve four people, if you understand what I'm saying. So I have some additional pasta here, and what I'm going to do is to go ahead and add this additional pasta because we have more than four people that's going to be eating this dish and um, I want to make certain that I have enough. Okay, so once I get that in, then I'm going to go ahead and before I put this in, I'm going to put back, I'm going to put in my, um, oh, here it is, my sugar. I have two tablespoons of sugar, and that's an optional. I like sugar in my, uh, in my, in my Prego sauce, so that's why you've seen me add it. Gonna add the rest of my my water. Okay. So that's four cups of water. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my sausage back in. And remember that little bit of oil that you see, don't even worry about it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add my Italian sausage back in. Now the last thing that I will add is my cheese, but I'll add that once this dish gets done. Okay. I may change the water on uh, the recipe when I post it because I'm adding just a little bit more water to this. So I may change it because I need this to thoroughly cook. Now I'm going to cook this on a medium heat. I'm going to, or a medium low, we'll put it like that, closer to low than to high. I'm going to cook it on that, and I'm going to cook it for 30 minutes. That's just allowing it to simmer. Once this gets done, then I'm going to add the cheese to it, because it only takes a minute for the cheese to melt. I'm not going to add as much cheese as you possibly would, because I don't really like cheese that much. But at that point, you can add as much as you would like. So I'm going to go ahead and co cover my pasta dish and I'm going to allow it to simmer. Now if it starts to simmer too fast, you want to stir it a couple of times. If it starts to simmer, simmer too fast where it looks like it's going to stick, just lower your heat and you'll be fine. So I'll bring you back. That's all you have to do. This is a one pot dish. I'll bring you back when I get through cooking it and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll serve it up. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and the dish is ready. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese in here because I don't like this at this point that your cheese can go ahead and um, melt up. 
my girls decided that they were just going to put their cheese on their own dish. But as you can see, the dish is hot enough for you to add cheese or not add cheese. So I'm going to dish up a plate. And you know, as usual, I tasted it. And it is good. So you have everything in it. You have your Italian sausage. You have your kielbasa. And look at how thick your sauce is. Okay. And there you have it. My daughter made some French bread. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. And there you have it. Chris is making a pasta dish for when you're tired of eating spaghetti all the time. Okay? And all you need to do, if you choose to, is just sprinkle your little cheese over it. Because it's going to go ahead and melt in. Okay, that's what Chris has for you today. I'm making a pasta dish for when you're tired of eating spaghetti. I want you all to stay safe. We got a Q&A that's going to be coming in a short while. And as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for YouTube. Bye.